So it's been long known that uh, people have taken offense to grocery store labels such as the ethnic oh, food uh -huh. section. Is this the Trader Joe's shit? Trader okay. Joe's okay. shit. Oh, yes. Oh, bitch. There is a new petition for Trader Joe's to rebrand most of its food labels that happen to be ethnic. I Why? I liked it. I liked it. it. I when thought it was cute. It, I laughed so hard because I'm like, I didn't know they had a Trader Jose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's there's a Trader Mings, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude. It should have been Trader Hoes. Yeah, because it's Trader Joe, Trader Jose. Like, What's it needs the to be Italian a, one? There's like an Italian. There's yeah. Trader Giotto, Giotti yeah. or something Giotti. like that. Yeah, so this is Trader Mings. This is for all the oh, Chinese yeah, peeps out here, there. Here. Be offended. Be very, very offended. Were you offended? So offensive. Wait, is that the is that the S store name or is that the Should've brand? Should've been Trader Chan's. Uh, that is pretty fucked up. <laughs> I think so. Why is it fucked up? Just be Trader Joe's. You can enlighten me. Well, for me, I just saw it as playful with the, with the, you know, the, just the... The food and the, the yeah. food aisle or whatever, you know? Like, I didn't see it as, like, racist or whatever. Right. So you had noticed it before the this mm. announcement? Because I had never noticed it before, but then once they announced it, I was like, it's, it's like... It was endearing for me. They're trying to be inclusive, but I understand. Like, but it's outdated. Because when I saw like, that, the root like, of it, like where it I started, I understand why people are. Upset. I guess every Ming is outdated. No, so for me, I what I actually what I liked about it when I first saw it is that when I'm shopping and I'm like, oh, cool, like this is their them trying to create this brand and make it like I want to connect with you guys. Mm -hmm. So for me, it seemed like. Um, the neighbor that's going, hey! Yeah. I, I think they were trying to be very inclusive, and I think it was very that's innocent of them, right? So there's yeah. Trader Mings. So if they were like Trader Ching Chongs, I'd be like, what the fuck? True. Yeah. I'm that's something out. I would have made. But you could get yeah. away with it, so kind of. That's true, well, well, just, so there's Trader Mings, right? Ch shout out to Chinese people, Bart, I see you. And mm -hmm. then for my lovely Mexicans in the room, there is Tr Trader Jose's. Which is fair still, that I'm not offended by Jose. It's so funny because I saw that all over Twitter and I didn't get it. I was like, it's are just people a, it's mad? Just, uh, yeah, people are mad. But, because um, mm. I didn't say, I didn't know that it was Trader Jose's or anything. So I was just reading taco shells, I was like, that's racist? Oh, oh true, yeah, because it's so small. The Do you think that's racist? Do taco you? shells? No, no, dude. The Jose. The Mings. The Ming, the Jose. No, it, it's just, it's just like, why? That's the only thing. Just is why. Why are they changing it? Yeah, we'll just keep Trader, Trader Joe's. It's like their brand and then maybe like do other things that are inclusive. Like you're already doing Hispanic products. Like that's already dope. I, I would say. If they started doing like Middle Eastern or like... Uh, oh, dude, South wait Asian. for it. So then oh. there is... There's is, is a Trader ISIS? Joe. Joe. <laughs> Joe. I, I, I see you too. There is a Trader Joe sign. <laughs> that's fucking cool. Trader Joe sign? And then, and, I think and then, that's so cool. And then Nadim. <laughs> I didn't forget you either. There is a Arabian Joe's for Middle Eastern food. Yes. Arabian Joe's? You Joe? find I that offensive. That. No, it should have been Trader Nadim. Trader Nadim. <laughs> yeah. I, I, don't get, I don't get mad about these things. Trader Jihad. <laughs> that no, 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 that would have no. made, made me laugh because I'd be like, that's so dumb. But then <laughs> stuff like that, if, if I saw like a, a person at the store being like, oh, it's a Arabic, what is it? Arabian. Arabian. Oh, Arabian. Is that why you think people are offended? Because they're taking it as like that because they're trying to represent something that's not genuine from that region? Not that it's not genuine, I just feel I like... I can see that perspective being offensive. Get that. Oh, because no. it's kind of like Taco Bell? Yeah, not and then going Jose's Mexican. Bell, yeah, and it's yeah. like, what the fuck? It's not so Mexican. If that's the perspective, I get it now. But if that's not the perspective... Because no. I can clearly see that's what people in the Middle East would, would like to eat. Like, there's tabbouleh, yeah. there's falafel, there's... But it's not like how their mom made it, though. It's, it's kind of whitewashed. Well, Zanku's Kitchen isn't how, like, how my mom made it. Well, my mom is, we're not of that people, but we should start a petitioner against Zanku. Because, like, to me, what's the difference between like this versus uh, like a, a company that's like LGBTQ friendly and then they have like a rainbow flag? It's like, hey well, guys, just well, let you guys. Flag, though. Well, is it Ming's my shit too? No, that's Ming Dynasty. Well, I don't think it's the same. Really? Well, because the LGBTQ plus community, that's their flag. Yeah. So they're representing. I imagine they oh, call it like, Ryan, like Ryan saying... Seacrest chicken. Which one's Ryan Seacrest chicken? Yeah. Is it, he gay? I, is he gay? I don't yeah. think he is. Ryan Seacrest. Oh, who's, who's the other actor Everyone from uh, Harold and Kumar? Harold and Kumar? Oh, Neil Patrick Harris. Yeah, I met him that came out with Neil Patrick Harris chicken. Yeah, all white people look the same. Then I'm like, what, well, is he good? I mean, him individual, like endorsing that chicken. Yeah, I think it's yeah. different, like trying to appropriate or like, because a lot of people see this as appropriation. appropriation? Culture. But I think a lot of the anger actually stems from the history as to mm -hmm. why they even did this to begin mm -hmm. with. 
So what's this? Oh, they, oh, thank you. Does it they taste good though? Because if it tastes bomb, it's Trader good. Joe's I good. love Trader Joe's. I love Trader Joe's too. I want to know why people are mad though. Okay, so, Me too. I want to so get mad. A lot of people were looking up the history of Trader Joe's and they realized that the original guy, the guy that started, his name is Joe something. Yeah, you would think it's Joe, right? Joe what? Oh. Joe what? <laughs> and guess what? He was a wizard of the KKK. And it's like, no wonder he's there being mad. <laughs> His name is Joe Coulombe. Coulombe. I'm quite sure what, what, uh, what background that is. Coulombe? But Joe Coulombe. And, uh, Sounds Italian. He started Trader Joe's, uh, and he was inspired by a book called White Shadows in the South Seas. And basically what this book it was about was about like white people going around colonizing and, and kind of like taking over territories in like the southern east uh, Asia. Oh, so is it like a trade post? Where yeah, the, and the colonies company. they had trade. Okay, yeah, that makes the sense. The trading companies yeah. back in like the early 1900s and uh, like 1800s, yeah. and and basically, if you know anything about the trading companies, yes, there's a lot of trade and like cultural like expansion and like you know whatnot, but also you know left room for a lot of you know rape and pillaging and like just a lot of exploitation of cultures and stuff like that. So there's it's controversial in that aspect of it. And then um, also he was uh, he was inspired by Disney theme parks uh, Jungle Cruise ride. What and the it, fuck? What part of it? The, well, the Jungle Cruise ride is basically oh, what yeah. it's a boat ride through what the jungles like the jungle. and there's like Aborigines and like ethnic tribes and stuff like that. But they're all kind of posed and like done up in a way that feels. Savage. Savage like. Yeah, because in Trader Joe's there's like barrels and buckets and cargo nets and stuff. So like the way they yeah. make things. Oh, it yeah. is Jungle, Jungle Cruise. Cruise. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, oh shit, that's where they got it from. Uh, yeah, so here's a picture of the Jungle Cruise uh, that I found. And that's just like an example of like the kind of caricatures that are in in the ride. And so And there's always some parrot or like some birds like <laughs> True, yeah. You know, yeah. there's always a bird making a monkey sound. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Well, there's monkeys, yeah, because you know the birds, they copy the monkey. They do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How cute they do. And then you hear it, you hear it, and then you hear cricket. You know, they, they're like putting in a loudspeaker. What other noises do you hear, yeah. Joe? You're so awesome, dude. Well, you don't hear that when you're on the boat and you're just like, wow, it feels Why like I'm in South America. We're all focusing on the caricature stuff and you were just focused on the <laughs> mad hounds of the, <laughs> of the ride. You know what my favorite part is, though? When they shoot the fake gun. Oh, the and you're like, oh shit, the arrow! No, the, no, no, the, the gun with the, the, the alligator. Tourist, the tourist person. Or what's coming? <laughs> Something's charging at them. The elephant? Right? Oh. We no. don't pay attention. Beth. I forgot what it was. Wait, wait, isn't there blow darts and shit? Yeah, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, one. yeah, and you gotta get that. I was scared. There's air, right? Yeah, you feel air. the air. Is it that Indiana Jones? Oh shit, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> maybe it's Indiana Jones. No, no, there's yeah. not. The point know. is, it's racist people. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's it's deemed racist now, and uh, and then it, this has also brought a lot of attention to Disney to want to revamp uh, Jungle Cruise now. Yeah, the way they should do it like is it. those guys right there should be holding iPhones. Oh, true. they should be there holding iPhones, and then like you go, <laughs> and then when you go, there's no animals. And there's no trees. And it's really cut, hot. Because we really cut hot. down all the rainforest. Yeah. Make it really hot. <laughs> really hot. Uh -huh. Yeah, all the animals are gone because we poached them all. Mm. Yeah. Yes. That's, that should be the, the modern realistic. day. Modern day. Yeah. Yes. And all like the water's like this much because it's yeah. all drained. It's all polluted. Now. It's all polluted. Yeah. When you go by, there's like cans and plastic. Face masks yeah. everywhere. Face on the floor. Ma yeah. There's a great message there. You know, be safe with COVID. And yeah. then there's you know climate change. All that kind of stuff is all invested in that little imagery right there. That I would like be it. a good Disney ride to like create the apocalyptic future of where we're heading. <laughs> yeah. It's a bad world after all. <laughs> so then kids could be inspired to not make it a reality. I know. Did y'all see the Disney Woke uh, Disney. The the Disney comeback uh Oh, that was so funny the way they edited it with like scary mo like scary music and yeah. making it feel all like in doom. Yeah, I, I didn't pull the video, but basically Disney was trying to open. Oh, but they did open up in uh, in World. Orlando. Oh, right, right, right. Open up and they had a commercial come out, and basically all the workers were in uh, masks and they're all like, "Welcome back." Home. Welcome, welcome oh, home. Welcome home. Welcome. And that was called Welcome Home, the commercial. And so then like Disney World, the elder people's homes. People are like, 
No, it's stay home. They actually re-edited it. Yeah, so a lot of people took that same clip and since everyone's wearing masks, yeah. you can't really see their mouths moving. So a lot of people re-edited the video, hey, put their own home. music in, scary music for oh, one. Nice. Another one was just putting like something similar music-wise and they've just said, stay home, stay home, stay home. And so like everyone's just kind of like making fun of the fact that Disney opened you know too that, early. You know that new song, the the... They covered the I got five on it. Yeah, yeah from uh, Get Out. No, not yeah, Get yeah. Out. Us. Exactly, from Us. So then they put that song over oh. that video too. It's like, damn. Like, how did they not see that? It's just so dangerous. There's a lot of Disney World, World employees saying too, like, I don't feel fucking safe. Oh, but I have to work. I need to get a paycheck. So it's like, oh no, it doesn't look I'll go. Good. Is it cheap right now? I'll go. <laughs> Disney World? Is it cheap right now? Oh. I mean, if you want to go here. Oh, you have to fly to Florida yeah. to get in. I'll go. I'll yeah, go. I'll go. Yeah. I'll, I'll go for you guys. To work or to just have fun? Both. <laughs> if they need help, I'll go. I never been before. I never been either. Yeah, I want to know the. I want to see the tunnels because I have friends that worked at Disney. And they're like, tunnels? yeah, there's tunnels. Yeah, underground yeah. tunnels. Yep. The employees only yeah. tunnels. Those yep. ones. Ah. Oh. And I heard that the lunchroom is fucking dope. It's pretty sick. Employee only. Yep. Oh. Employee Does it have only. Trader she, Mings? She was a part of the um the uh the Mulan show, oh. like the parade, the parade. Yeah, True. they'll be dancing and shit. Or was it Aladdin? I don't know. She she wore yeah. some kind of costume. And that reminds me, like, if people can do this to Trader Joe's and, like, say that's appropriation, couldn't they do that to the Disney princesses, too? And there's, like, a s aspect of I appropriation think... with that? Because there's yeah. all ethnicities of princes, princesses now. That's the part that I think is scary, because I yeah. think there's appropriation in everything, right? Like, with it, even with this, is this a white-on-white -white fight? Or are or Asians know. actually mad? Or, or like Asians even with mad? this picture right here, are yeah. are like I don't know, quote unquote, jungle people? Are they mad? Or is it like a white on white fight? Or even Trader Mings, is that Asians mad? Or is that a white on white fight? There might be some Asians mad. Right yeah, now. yeah. I think, huh? it's, I think it's everyone. It's like woke, uh, woke on woke. They're trying, yeah. to, like, they're trying to like go through everything and like cancel everything. I don't know. Like I see, I see the intention. I see what they're trying to do. It's like yes, we should stop perpetuating racist uh, stereotypes, racist things about it, and like we shouldn't celebrate racist past. Like, I get it, but then I feel like there's like a fine line, and then like that line is just like so blurry, and then people are going to the extremes, and now every single thing is canceled. Like you can't, you can't have an opinion on anything. Like everything has a horrid past, and it's just like, oh my God, it's exhausting. I'm tired. Like, I don't know, I don't know how to like, actually um i don't know how to be fully on either side because to me they both seem so extreme because yeah. even like let's say like honda accord right is that appropriating now like to market to america they use an american name for a japanese car the accord yeah right isn't that the same thing as trader mings well and what well, for me like i i kind of like so for me I don't like when people get angry because they're just angry, right? And they want to follow the mob, and then that's what we're calling cancel culture. I do like, however, when people are being called out, like something like this, that is misinformation, that it happens to be a caricature, that isn't accurate to the, a, a, an accurate depiction of a certain type of, of group. And adding like to it. Like if they were <laughs> like, oh, the Jungle Cruise, yeah. specifically? Yeah, specifically the Jungle Cruise. Um, so if, if people were like, hey, you know what, keep that, but just make it accurate, I'm like, that's Tyke, because now at least Taika, when he sees it, or like other kids or other people, they're gonna see the correct stuff being displayed. Is this not accurate? I have no idea. Yeah. I have no idea either. Yeah. Um, and what's even I'm just, accurate, I guess I'm just talking. You know? Like is it like is it having a 2020 well, spice so of life? Accurate, with trash is that accurate? So with or is Disney, it... for example, with Disney what I like that they did with um what was the uh the Mexican movie? Coco. Yes, with Coco is they had a bunch of consultants of that culture, of yeah. Mexican culture. So they, and Moana too, so they consulted with a lot of people within that community so that they can get it accurate. So that's without consultation. I'm assuming. I see. You know right. what that's gonna evolve to? Eventually, 20 years, 30 years down the line, it's gonna be like, well, those people you consulted with don't speak for the entire culture, and we Probably. gotta cancel it too. And I'm like, what the fuck? Probably. There's no right. You can't do no right. I think there's always just gonna be a group that's angry no matter what you do. Especially yeah. right now, when everyone's stuck at home, we're in the middle of a pandemic. They don't know. They don't know how to like release their frustrations any other way. So it's like, oh, let's pick apart every little thing. And I, yeah, it's just, it's a lot. I don't know.
But yeah, so uh, Jungle Cruise movie hopefully will come out soon because I'm really excited for that. The Rock's in it, Emily Blunt's in it, oh, and hopefully I love with that movie Blunt. coming out, and not sponsored by them or anything, but with that movie <laughs> coming out, I'm thinking they might change the ride. Oh, like update it. Because like, yeah. like how they did Pirates oh, yeah. of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean was yeah, some whack ass Jack Sparrow. They should have kept it old school. Same, dude. Yeah. I like that one. I, I like Johnny Depp. I like probably came out to stop appropriating us. Yeah, and then and then Johnny Depp just was like, I want it in my likeness, and they redid the whole thing. I like the the three D thing that pops out at the end with with Jack Sparrow. I'm gonna go back and see the whole ride for myself, but they robbed my child. Come with us, man. Come with us. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, because going. Disneyland used to be the the shit. It's still the shit. Really? Yeah. <laughs> really. <laughs> Hello guys, thank you guys so much for watching all of our videos and I know it's been a million years in the making but we finally got Just Kidding News merch. Yep. So make sure you go down to the store below and you can, wow, get, wow, wow. Yeah, and you can yeah. get a piece of JK News and thank you guys for supporting. Thank you. Bye bye.